everybody it's Scott Omato in this video I'm going to show you how to install fabric in the twitch launcher okay now this is hacky guys this is hacky uh, it's better to use multi MC multi MC has fabric support built right in or you could use AT launchers another option but we're going to do it in the twitch launcher just to show that you can so here go to the fabric mc.net site okay only get it from there and uh, you'll want to go to this use page and select the vanilla installer tab here all right and so download that for your platform you can get an exe for windows or a universal one uh, that'll do mac linux and probably windows too uh, so i get the jar launcher all right so once that's down on your disk uh, then you'll want to browse for it and open it let it through your gatekeeper or windows defender or whatever okay and then open uh, that install so once you do you'll get this all right uh, this is the installer window then you're going to want to browse to your minecraft folder uh, for twitch you're going to want to browse to twitch which is uh, in your documents folder and the folder is either called curse or twitch depending on if you've only used the twitch client or whatever but uh, most new installs would be twitch and then you want to go to its minecraft folder inside of there and then install and you're going to choose this install folder right here all right so that'll be of the path in there and then you could choose install create profile won't do anything doesn't really matter just hit install all right so now if we go out to uh, that folder we're going to see in the libraries or not in libraries in versions there's going to be a fabric uh, loader profile put in here okay so there's gonna be fabric loader profile and we're going to want to select that in our twitch client okay so that that's basically what it adds so you go to twitch and create a new custom profile here and then i'm just going to name it 1.15 fabric doesn't really matter at all and then we want to choose our version we're going to do 115.1 and this is important the mod loader here select none okay select none for the mod loader then we'll create the profile all right so uh, we have basically what we need to kind of get started so you could do your first launch hit play um, now keep in mind that if you're using this older jar launcher like I am uh, because you can't get the native launcher or whatever you're gonna have to have this launcher version 1.6.93 uh, for the latest versions of Minecraft and it'll look like this old one but now what we want to do to get the fabric and this won't be remembered okay so it's kind of hacky in this way but we want to choose edit profile and then under the use version area right here we could scroll up and see that we have an option for release fabric loader all that that's what's coming from the versions folder so we could choose save profile it, it'll just save it temporarily next time you launch you'll have to do this again uh, again so it's kind of hacky but when we uh, hit play then it will load uh, fabric okay so let it go ahead and open up and all that stuff and in the meantime while it's doing that at, you know after a certain launch process we can go ahead and get some fabric mods but just to save time uh, we'll do that now fab in this internal search it's only going to be good for people that have helped us and added fabric to the name of the mod all right uh, there's no way to filter inside of here for fabric mods uh, but of course on curseforge there is a way to filter for the mods so if you go to curseforge and you choose all version game versions fabric you'll see fabric mods okay so you could go through and, and pick your fabric that way but the ones that people have named uh, which we've got our launch and you can see it's 115 one fabric so that that is now a fabric install so we do have fabric api which a lot of mods use you might as well add it uh, then we'll just use this one for example mod menu uh, which shows the list of the mods we just basically get a few and uh, i'm assuming they're filtered for 115 probably are but you know we don't know it's better after you do so and i'll show you how to manually add your mods but let's just go ahead and look with these two mods to be sure that it's working fine um, but it is but keep in mind once again you've got to go ahead and select 
that profile. So I'm talking ahead a little bit, but we're gonna do that. So as soon as this gets loaded, then we'll just edit profile and select, it's at the top of the list. So right there, fabric, save profile, play. Okay, and uh, again, let it launch. Now, if you were gonna manually add mods, you're gonna wanna click this gear icon. Now, one thing to note is that this, this behavior is not good on, on Twitch, Twitch's part, but if you choose profile options here, it's gonna automatically fill that, fill in the latest Forge version, all right? It's like insisting on a mod loader, and it's gonna fill in that. So watch that, um, but if it does, in your Minecraft instance.json there, you could set to base mod loader to null, right here, just, just like that. Just copy how the third line's done, set it to null, and it'll get rid of that forge if you did that. But otherwise, you just add the mods here to the mods folder, okay, for fabric. So we have a launch, and you can see there's Minecraft fabric, there's the mods menu mod, there's the list of the fabric mods right there. We turn this music off. Um, but you can see that, yeah, it's it's working. So it has a uh, fabric, it has what it needs uh, to do so. So um, again, that's a pretty good install. So now if we like went to here and got, uh, you know, just like, let's get a newer fabric mod, like Hyla for instance. Uh, uh, and a lot of these you've got to, if they're forge and fabric related you need to go and select the the page itself and browse for it because you'll need to get be sure that you don't get the forge one see this one's forge that one's forge uh, there is a fabric additional files forge so yeah you're gonna have to do it here's the fabric one down here that's for pre four but it still works so just go ahead and download it, uh, keep it. We'll go and get to our downloads folder and find it. Um, tab here, right here. So copy it and then paste it into the mods folder like so. And then once again, we'll launch to get fabric, change our version and go through the whole process. Uh, but we should now have a working fabric install. Once again, guys, this is so much easier in multi-MC. But, you know, it, once you've learned about how launchers work and stuff like that, then I, I hit play. Oops. Let's quit that. Now, and let's go again. I hit play before I did the um, edit on the profile. Trying to keep this video short, but I also want it to be informative. Otherwise, I'll have to ask a bunch of questions, you know, answer a bunch of questions and what have you. So just exit at any time that you've got what you need from it. But again, I'm just going to try to pack some information into it uh, as I usually do, just to be sure that people know what's going on. So there's fabric release. That one, use the fabric release, save it, launch it. Uh, that was the other launch and then let it go through its launch and then we'll Hyla's not being shown uh, I can refresh I don't know if it'll come up sometimes yeah it does if it's on curse and you put it manually in then it'll come into the list when you use refresh but if it's a non uh, curse forge mod then it won't you, you know it'll just be out there on the disk but let's go ahead and do this final launch check that everything in fabric is working correctly um, because we've used their browser and we've installed our own mod manually which is what you will mainly do uh, is install your mods manually so there's hyla right there um, let's just create a world real quick so we can see it in action be sure everything works and we don't crash out or anything like that uh, but we should be good. It's just like one more manual step that you have to go through to select fabric. Uh, that's mainly the, the thing. And then if you ever want to get rid of fabric, basically you just go out to that versions folder right here and just delete this folder and fabric's gone. You can see that one thing to else to mention is when you've launched uh, and you go into your instances, 
uh, which is where the launch is. So if I go to my instances folder here and I look at this 115 fabric, it adds everything else it needs inside of the profile folder. So once you delete the profile, then that stuff's gone too. Uh, so here we go in game and we've got Hyla working. So fabric is essentially working. Can't guarantee that every mod would work, but it should. It's essentially the same as any launch profile at that point. Again, beside that extra step. So there we go. That's how you do fabric in the Twitch launcher. If you want to do that for some reason, then uh, it's all about options, guys. You can do it if you want to. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. So Scott Omato, if you like it, let me know. Thanks so much and have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.